So this question says that t is greater than 0 and t squared minus 4 equals 0. And it wants us to figure out the value of t. So again, because this is only a single line question, we can assume that simplification is going to be necessary. I cannot simplify t is greater than 0. That's just a statement of fact. However, I can simplify t squared minus 4 equals 0. So that is the difference of squares. So diff of squares. Um, and the way that we simplify that, just going to re re rewrite it, t squared minus 4 becomes t minus 2 times t plus 2. So we're told that t squared minus 4 equals 0, so I can say that t minus 2 times t plus 2 is equal to 0. So then to solve for t, I set each binomial equal to 0 individually. So t minus 2 equals 0, t plus 2 equals 0. And therefore, I'd get t equals 2 here, because I'd add 2 to both sides. And over here, I'd get t equals negative 2, because I'd subtract two from both sides. So this question is not a multiple choice question. This is one of the self-response questions from the SAT, meaning that you have to fill in the number and bubble in the, um, the corresponding bubbles that go along with your number that you found. So we can't have two answers, right? So this is where this bit of information comes in as being important because we're told from the very beginning that t is greater than zero, which means t equaling negative two is not what we want. We want the value where t is greater than 0 or t is equal to 2. So the answer to this question would be 2.